hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to take a picture from your webcam using a library in javascript which is webcam.js so this is this will be the library guys that we will be using this is webcam.js so you can just uh, go to this link and copy the cdn of this library and uh, just make a new index index.html file and start writing this code so we will be making a simple html code for this I will be giving a title that uh, taking picture from webcam using webcam.js so inside this in the body we will be having a simple div element I will be giving an id to it of webcam oh sorry camera I will close this div and also we will be having a button in order to take the picture so let me just give a on click attribute to it so this function we will make customs function that is take snapshot and we will be giving a label to this button that uh, take snapshot and now we will be styling this uh, camera element in the style tag let me just uh, select this by id here let me just give a width of uh, 350 pixel and a height of also 350 pixel and a border of uh, one pixel solid black and now if i refresh the application guys if i go to this application if i refresh it you will see that this is a camera element here we will, we will be loading our webcam and this is a take snapshot if i click this button i need to take a picture of the webcam and save it and now basically guys we just need to include the library so just make a script tag here right after the body so in the source attribute you just need to copy paste this uh, webcam.min.js so i will copy this from the cdn and paste it so this is a library guys so now after this you just need to make a another script tag this will be our custom script that we will write here first of all we will be writing our take snapshot function but before that we just need to load our webcam load our webcam so for that we will be writing a simple code here which will be webcam dot set so inside this set function we need to pass some option that is width of the webcam that we need to pass here so width let me just pass here 350 height will also be 350 and the third option is uh, in which image format you need to take the picture so here i will be taking the picture in in uh, jpg format so i will be providing a image format option so this i will initialize it to jpg and the last option will be jpg quality you need to provide this option as 90 so whatever value you can provide here i will be providing 90 and lastly you just need to call this function which is webcam.attach and here you need to pass the id on which element do you need to load the camera so i will be loading in this dev element so it has got a id to it camera so i will pass this id as uh, hash symbol camera that's it and now if i load the application it will be asking for the permission you can see that use your camera and uh, if i allow this you will see that my camera will be lo loaded here you can see that my camera is loaded here inside this dev element and now i can just click this element take snapshot and i can click the picture here so for writing this code this will be very simple guys so first of all there is a method inside this library which will be snap so we will be writing webcam dot snap so inside this function we have uh, let me just see we, we we have a callback function which takes the data uri we need to load this so inside this we just need to target a element where you want to display the picture so i will be giving that uh, as results let me just create an element here inside my html just after the button here i will be giving a div which has an id of results so inside this results element i will be loading the image here so i have successfully selected this element 
now I just need to manipulate the inner HTML property of it inner HTML and it will be equal to the let me just this is a backtick symbol here so this allows me to write multiple lines of uh, JavaScript code so inside this what I can do here is that I can just uh, make a image tag here image source will be equal to the data URI so I can just write here data URI data URI is you can see that I need to concatenate this so I need to put it as a variable so I will put a dollar sign here that's it let me just copy paste this code here guys so that you can better understand let me just copy this and paste it here so essentially we are loading this image here inside the element let me just change the ID to results here you can see that we are giving a ID element to you can see that this is our element results we are loading this image in this element first of all we are targeting it by the ID and manipulating the inner HTML property and then we are loading a image element passing the data URI property and now if I refresh it the application and if I click this button you will see that it has taken the picture and it has loaded this inside a div element now I can just change this you can see that so it is taking different photographs you can see that so in this way guys you can just make a simple application and one other thing that I wanted to discuss that you can also uh, load a sound also if you take a photograph so for this you just need to add some kind of code here let me just show you so let me just write these three lines after you attach your camera you just need to write these three lines first of all we are declaring a shutter variable and we are using the audio library new is audio and then we are making this shutter dot auto play to true and then we are loading a mp3 file shutter dot source and then we are checking that which which browser we are using if here we are using the firefox browser then we will load this file shutter.org if we are using the uh, chrome browser we will load this file that is shutter.mp3 and now inside this function when we take the snapshot we just need to call the play method so it will play the sound like this shutter.play so it will play the sound guys so now after this we're making this change now if I reload the application if I click the button you will see that it will take the sound also I think that the sound is not uh, working but this is a method by which you can just make the sound also so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much